Often, when you're writing a program in Alice, you're going to need to interact with the user. Sometimes you'll want to get the number of times to do something. So the first thing that you'll do when you need to do that is you're going to create a local variable, and I'm just going to call this times. And if you're doing something a certain number of times, it's always integer. You're not going to do something one and a half times, at least not in Alice. Um, typically, I initialize it to zero, and then I will use a function, and I will get an integer from the user, which I will just add right there. And so I'm going to give it a custom text string. How many times should I turn? OK. So now I have the number, which is stored in times, and I can use that. Then in Alice, I'm going to use the count object. And again, I'm going to initialize it to 0, but I'll change this to times. That way, it will do something however many times. So I'm going to, then in my procedures, I will have him turn left, and I want it to turn completely, 100%, and for the number, it will be times. Now if I test this, I'll tell it 5, hit OK, and it'll spin 5 times. And that's how you get a number from the user and make it the character spin or do whatever you want that many times.